Alright, so hi guys, this video I'm going to show you on how to start your own internet registration for free. No, no, it's, uh, it's not hard to start your own internet registration for free. Um, we're going to have a simple step to, to do this. We're going to go to Google Home. So, but before we do this, there are two servers that um does allow you to start your own internet registration one is shoutcast shoutcast is easy to use that we're going to use right now and the uh, second one is icecast that are going to that are going to release in the next video or are going to um create that read on how to start the internet registration using icecast on the next video now first go to download the shoutcast server the 1.9.8 version because shoutcast version 2.0 is um it's not i think it's on the beta i think or yeah no um the shoutcast.com um the shoutcast 2.0 is us is um now release but we're not going to use that because it's it's more advanced to set up but still it's easy to use but we're going to i'm going to release another video on how to use shortcast 2.0 and broadcast it now go to download.nonsoft.com this way more complicated we're going to find the exd files now click on shortcast tools then find shoutcast in this 1-9-8 click on that it will download it now after that while still downloading go to winamp.com slash media dash player slash n click on free download on winamp standard And it will download it just perfectly fine. Next one, we're going to need to download the Shoutcast DSP. So, we're going to click on do to shoutcast.com. Click on broadcast now. Then, click scroll down until you see the DSP retreat 2. Hit on download. It will download the DSP. And I'm going to post this video until these two are now done. Alright, so now we now while we wait for the Win app to be downloaded, we're going to set up the shark as the NES. Click on this stuff, hit run, hit I agree. Next, be sure to choose a GUI version. Next, install. So, we'll save that. Go to a router page to make it for port forwarded. Click on advanced settings. Click on virtual server. If you're, if you're using the tender router, let me say tender router. You go to go to virtual server. Then type 8000 to 8001 for the end. Nine AP, which is one 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 for me. Boot and hit enable. Going to go to um stairs. View wireless networks. I'm going to send that. Stairs, sorry, and properties. Properties and oh sorry, the support. All right, it's one 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 going to click on OK and and my computer is disconnected okay it's now completed successfully going to run the application um, okay going to hit next I agree next Send finally. I'm 
going to use all of them. Multimedia engine. Without agent. Visual vision. User interface. Yeah, hit next. Hit next. Install. It will install. It's a uh, fast installation process. It's downloading the Windows Media Format. I'm going to post the video until this test done. Alright, so I just uh, have a problem. Um, and I'm going to have Microsoft Direct X. Uh, it's downloading all the necessary files that it's needed. Um, so, after we install WinApp, we're going to install the shortcut DSP, the 2-3-2 Windows that executable um, to WinApp, which is our DSP plugin. And it will uh, execute it. Then, be sure that you don't launch WinApp after it install or close. Because we're going to configure the DSP. So click on the shortcut DSP, close your internet browser, hit next, agree, next, install, hit install, set the current disk plug and rename, hit finish, then rename classic, next, files, next, finish, start in rename. I, I hope you heard that. So, okay. Now, next one, you need to launch your Shotcast server. I'm going to go to Start or Programs Shotcast NES, Shotcast NES GUI version. It's all started. Now, fill in your server address, which is my 182.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
IP 1168.0.111 and you'll see the shock of senior stills right in your number of casting lights so just waiting for the video please hit comment and subscribe our next video our next video i'm going to be uh, focusing on how to start your energy station using ice cast and that's about it for the video please hit subscribe